Hey guys, Zong here, back with another log problem. This time we're doing Amy 1 2000 number 9. Pause the video, think about it. Okay, good. Okay, you're still here. So, the solution to this problem is um well first first you notice that these this this these equations are pretty ugly. Like I mean, they have like this symmetrical side right here. The this part is pretty like um the same throughout every equation but the part we want to change is this side this side looks pretty ugly and we can't really do anything until we get rid of um the, the we totally make the sides that side of the equ the equations the same okay so uh to do this uh we 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 revert to a very well known property of logs is that log a b equals log a plus log b so if you do that, uh, you can you can actually split log base ten two thousand x y into log two thousand plus log x plus log y equals log two thousand x y. So you can see where this is going. Um, well. We extracted log x plus log y out of this, and that looks a bit more generic. It l no crazy coefficients or anything. So you do that with the rest of the thing, the rest of the equation. So log base 10, 2xy equals log 2 plus log x plus log y. So we substitute that in, and to make things easier, why don't we do do this? Why don't we define a variable? So log x equals a log y equals b log z equals c so let's do that because it makes things much easier so uh... so if you do a bunch of this, if you substitute this in this in to this equation and this into this equation and you do a bunch of timey-wimey time stuff and you subtract two th log 2000 from both sides you get a plus b minus a b equals 4 minus log 2000 and same thing for the second equation b plus c minus bc equals 1 minus log 2 and a plus c minus a c equals zero okay so um... we can do the same thing as we did um... that we just did we can substitute log two thousand for log base ten a plus b minus a b equals four minus log one thousand minus log two and log one thousand log base ten one thousand is just three so it equals one minus log Two, which is actually the same as what we get in the second equation. That's interesting. That's an interesting observation. So, uh, you look at you look at these expressions. You look; it's symmetrical now. So, a plus b minus a b, b plus c minus b c, a plus c minus a c. It looks looks pretty neat. But the trick is how are we going to solve these equations? And the way to solve these equations is using Simon's favorite factoring trick. And to use Simon's favorite factoring trick, Simon's favorite factoring trick is essentially where you add or subtract the constant from both sides to make one side easier to factor and the way we use it in this case is to do this a plus b minus a b minus one we subtract one from both sides of all the equations equals negative log two b plus c minus b c minus one equals negative log two a plus c minus a c minus one equals negative log two Oh, whoops, not negative log 2. Negative 1, I mean, sorry. Um, so what you do th here is uh, you factor the left side, okay? So these still look the same. So we factor each of these to get um, negative a minus 1, b minus 1, negative b minus 1, c minus 1, and negative a minus 1, c minus 1 equals negative log 2 negative log 2 
negative 1. And uh, you want to get rid of this negative side. So let's just cross off these negative signs for both sides. And multiplying both sides by negative 1 and stuff. A uh, bit unneat, but you get the idea. So a minus, minus 1 times b minus 1 equals log 2. b minus 1 times c minus 1 equals log 2. And a minus 1 times c minus 1 equals 1. How do we go from here? How do we ever go from here with all these negative ones around here? Well, um, it's simpler than you think, actually. And using the power of magic, I'm successfully making them disappear. So, simpler than you think. What you what, what you do is pretend each of these are a a, um, a variable within themselves. Because let's pretend a minus one is equal to a, or b minus one is equal to b, or c minus one is equal to um a variable. Well, assuming these are all individual variables, let's try just let's try to multiply every all the equations together. We get a minus 1 squared b minus 1 squared c minus 1 squared equals log 2 squared and from here you can square both sides a minus 1 b minus 1 c minus 1 equals log 2 let me clear up some space um one sec Alright, space has thus been cleared. Move, move it a bit. Okay, okay. So where we go from here is, um, so you have this. So a minus one, b minus one, c minus one equals log two. What we can do now is we t we we notice that we want to find um essentially b, which is um log 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 y log y equals b so we want to find b and to find b we actually subtract i mean not subtract divide this equation by this equation this equation and by dividing this equation by um this equation by this equation we get b minus 1 equals log to actually i i i'm sorry i forgot something something important um you notice that this asks for two solutions of y1 plus y2 and you you notice that hmm, Zong this only gives one solution. Well, that's because we forgot something very important here. Um, we forgot that when we square root both sides of this equation, it can be plus minus log two. So actually, this is sorry, plus minus log two. So a minus one, b minus one, c minus one is actually equal to plus minus log two. So if we take that into account, we get two solutions: b equals plus minus log two plus one which is also equal to plus minus log 2 plus log 10 which um so if we read this equation in terms of y log y equals um log 20 or log y equals log uh, um, five, I think. Wait, let me think about that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Log five because uh, when you negative log two plus log ten, you divide ten by two to get log five. So, so um, so then you get y equals twenty and five. Finishing this up, um. Thus, y1 plus y2 equals 25. And that's how you solve this problem. Hi guys, it's Daniel, and I'm going to do part two of the logarithms videos. This is a 1984 Amy number five.